Hey guys, it's Terry from BLF and my own YouTube channel. I keep saying my YouTube channel, by the way, because it doesn't have a name. I never thought of it. I guess I should, but I haven't. Um, this video will be posted on there. The reason I'm doing more video work uh, than photo work, I'd rather do photo work and actually type mine out and do video for uh, beam shots. But we're all having issues with photo bucket and anybody on forums right now knows that. I'm going to dive straight into this because i got a lot to say and still I don't want these videos because i got so long as you get bored. Um, thanks to Banggood. Uh, they, I, they actually got two likes at one time this time because they, uh, we need to get both of them reviewed. Uh, this is the Phoenix PD40R. Phoenix, if you own the Phoenix at all, you know they're jam up lights. This one, there was a little controversy over it. Uh, it was some time back it's, it's been a good while back back in 2000 about mid 2016 uh because it's claimed to be a 3000 lumen light which by the way i will tell you i tested myself it is every bit a 3000 lumen light but it will step down from 3000 lumens um fairly quickly and it does that for a couple of reasons and we're going to get into those reasons right here shortly uh, when you find out just how much power goes through there and how hot it gets and how quickly it gets that hot, you'll understand why it steps down that quickly. Um, but I mean, from there on out, it'll still hold a thousand lumens for a long, long time. Let's dig straight into this thing. Um, I mean, here's the output levels on it. I, I'm going to read these out because it actually beat these. Uh, turbo is 3,000 lumens. Uh, high is a thousand, medium is, let me get that focus for you. Medium is 350, low is 100, eco, which I think is cool, is 20. Strobe's a thousand, SOS is 350. Okay, uh, beam intensity on turbo is 100,000 candela. That's, that's a lot of light. That's a whole lot of light. Um, what's in the box? All kind of cool stuff. One of the coolest and most rugged, um, Flashlight holders that I've come across in a while, little, little holster. This, it, yes, it's it's you know Cordura, Nylon, whatever you want to call it. But this is really that. I play guitar most of my life, acoustic guitar most of my life. Uh, my hands are a lot stronger than they look, and that is really really tough. And really really, I like this a lot, a whole 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 lot. Um, and we're gonna get another camera, guys. Uh, because it, it looks like these photo hosting websites are just going to eat us alive. I'm, we're, I have another one that is designed for music, so I'm sorry. Just try to bear with me. Get a USB cable, of course. Uh, standard USB to micro USB because it, this is a rechargeable light. We're going to talk about that, too. Most of the time, I do not charge any of my lights in the light. Uh, by the way, there's your... You always get a little small catalog brochure for other lights, and you also get your uh, warranty card uh, as well. I, I, I don't charge my, my cells in my lights. This one, you're probably going to want to. Uh, I'm, I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. As soon as you get it out, before you start playing with it, also, I'm sorry, yeah, lanyard, spare o-rings. I've I looked, and I can't find it, so I'm, I don't believe there is. And I tried and tried and tried. Uh, I wish they would start putting um, spare uh, the little rubber USB covers because these these things don't all these lights come off so easy. Um, I talked to Emmett about that, and I've got emails with them giving me their word. You know, the next batches that went out of their lights, they would include those. Uh, anyway, let's get on with it. Lanyard, lanyard, spare O-rings, all the standard equipment. 26650 cell that comes with this light is one jacked up 26650 and just like any other light that comes with a cell they normally come in the light so you have to take the tail cap off remove the battery and normally I don't think I have enough light I can get enough light there hang on I just remember something I do flashlights a lot, so um, this is what we were talking about earlier. 
there. Oh, that's too bright. Um, there was a piece of, uh, not sure if it was plastic or, I didn't keep it long enough to find out. But covering the MCPC, not MCPCB, the board, uh, that was entirely covered. I mean, no part of this cell could touch that. Took a pair of tweezers, took about two seconds to get that out. Wasn't, wasn't a problem at all. Then I charged this cell in my, um, uh, Michaela, uh, 500 at one amp, and it took almost three hours to put about 2,900, almost 3,000 milliamps in it. Um, this, this light is designed, the USB charging system on this light is designed to charge at two amps. So, this is one that I, you know, I may get this light, I don't know, I may keep it, I haven't decided. Uh, I do like it, but, I, you know, I can't keep all of them. It's, I don't feel right doing it. I like giving them away anyway. Um, this thing is a monster. Uh, and it needs that two amps to get it charged. If not, you'll be charging it all day long. Now, once you've uh, taken the cell out, taken a little piece of plastic out, put the cell back in the correct way, that side goes towards the head. By the way, there is a subparagraph in the directions that says the head of this light is sealed extremely well. If you remove the head or any part of the head, you will void any and all of your warranty. And this is not an expensive light. I'm, excuse me, I'm in this not an inexpensive light. There are many that cost far more but this is, you know, I, I, trust me, there's, there's, I don't see how you can get any more power out of it. It uses uh, Cree's XHP70 LL, uh, LED, which all of you know is, if I can get enough light in there, I am so sorry, we're gonna get this fixed, is it's basically a quad, you know, it's an LED in, into a quad, it's like having four in one. The amount of current this thing pulls is phenomenal. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, I'm gonna read them out. I got them in notes right here. I'm, sorry. I'm gonna read out for you um, what uh, what kind of power and, and, and output I got from this. Uh, my first, very first test I did in my integrated tube, um, it, it, it does much better with really heavy duty high output lights. Um, I only got about 2,700, uh, almost 2,800 looms, and I noticed that my photo cell wasn't level, wasn't, I didn't have it adjusted just right. It really needs to be level so everything lands where it's supposed to. Uh, I adjusted it and ran some more tests, and the very first test after that, I didn't recharge anything or change anything. I got 3,225 lumens. Um, out of my uh, tube, and that tube is so close to being dead on, I, I I don't even let anybody touch it. So, will it hit it? Yes, 3,225 looms, not a problem. Take a wild guess how many amps it cooks out to put that many looms. 6.56. At one time, I actually, I set my meter to to uh, record the max. I seen it a couple times hit seven, but it normally stays between the six fours and the six fives. It's over six and a half amps. That's why it can't stay, just can't maintain turbo that long. I mean, the heat generated from all that is just phenomenal. Okay, that's on turbo. High, um, I got uh, 1,294 lumens out of it. That's supposed to be a thousand. I got 200 more, almost 300 more out of it. Um, that's at 2.48 at 2 amps. Uh, mid or medium, uh, 371 uh, is how many lumens I got. That that also beats, you know, uh, I, I forgot what it said mid is. Uh, 
Mid is medium, I'm sorry. Yeah. Whoa, this bug is stinks. We're gonna get another camera because we're gonna have to. I'm not paying those fees for a photo bucket. Well, that won't focus at all now. Um, I'll just have to read it off to you. It is 300, 350? Oh, 350, I'm sorry. Um, three, anyway, I got 371, so I, I beat that. And that is at uh, 0 0.58, uh, 580 milliamps. Um, low, 129 looms, should be 100. I got that, you know, or excuse me, I think it's 120. Nope, it's 100. Uh, so I got 29 extra looms out of that. Um, that's at 200 milliamps. Um, and Ego is it's so tiny, it's just precious. I got 21.5 looms. Uh, 0 0.05 is, I actually got it to register on my meter. I love my meter. Um, so uh, yeah, it, this thing cranks out phenomenal miles of power. Um, very simple to operate. One of the most simple flashlights around to operate. There's no special bells, whistles, or anything else. Um, there's no, uh, you know, there's no, nothing magnetic on the tail cap or anything like that. This is just a good old fashioned light. Uh, it's very simple. The bottom, that's the power. That's your main power button right there. That is your mode button okay this is for it this button right here is for everything you want a steady light on this is for everything you want something flashy on push it and hold it oh I got it too high let's, let's start it low. you gotta push it and hold it for about a half a second it comes on that's its lowest setting that's supposed to be around 20 21 looms want to go up one step you don't have to hold it this time just click it that goes up to medium, excuse me, goes from eco to low, that's 129 looms, give or take. Another quick click, that's medium, 371 looms, give or take a couple. Another really quick click, that's uh, high. It's supposed to be a thousand, I got, uh, I tell you what, I'll just lay it right here in front of the light, or better still shine it at the light. Um, I got 1200 looms out of it. One more click, and that's the turbo. Okay, that's over 3,000. I'm gonna walk all the way back up the turbo. And we're gonna wait on it and see how long it takes to walk down. And uh, my wife just came in with my dog. He had to go out. Will you do me a favor and look in that second door and hand me my infrared uh, uh, thermometer? Orange gun. I want to take its temperature when it steps down real quick so everybody can understand. All right. It hasn't stepped down yet. Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. Now I got to do it all over again. There it is. It's still in there. Yeah, that's still in there. Uh, right there. Orange gun. Now, it may have stepped down and I just can't tell it in here because it's not dark. Now, let's see. I'm going to check and see what right now I'll back this up I don't know if you can see it or not the head of that flashlight is and that's in Fahrenheit that's 107 almost 108 degrees it's supposed to hang out around oh man that's hot supposed to hang out around a minute and a half I'm going to prop it up on this uh, so I can actually take the temperature I want to take the temperature itself I mean, at the, uh, I mean, uh, 231 degrees at the emitter. So if you touch that glass, I step down now. I can tell you that right now. That's right, that's step down. So that's back to low. Oh, whoa, that thing's hot. Right there. See that red dot? That is. Yeah, put the red dot back in the right place. We're getting a camera, I'm telling you. That red dot is almost 111 degrees. 
right here, and that's where the charging port is. Now that's back on its lowest setting. That would be low, that would be medium, that would be high. That's supposed to be turbo. Let's wait and let's watch it, see if it steps down again. The, the biggest complaint that I heard or read uh, when this light was still very young and in its experimental stages was that it stepped down from turbo too fast and you only got that one shot. Well, they've changed all that. They've changed the, um, the cell that's in it. it you know what, this is the first light in a long time that's actually burning my fingers. Um, I work on machinery all night and to burn my fingertips, and I play guitar too, to burn my fingertips is actually not that easy to do. Um, I'm really curious how hot that thing is now. Because it doesn't seem to be stepping down. There it went, just stepped down, I caught it. And it started cooling down like immediately. But right here, where my finger is, is 122 degrees right now. Now this is not the most accurate. Oh, 126, 27, 28, and keep going. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna step it way on down. Now that's, it, it steps down to a thousand lumens. But you see that? It went right back to turbo. Everybody's like, no, it won't go back to turbo. Yes, it will. It absolutely will. I want to get that out of the way. So you can have that turbo as, almost as much as you want if your hand can stand it. Um, now, the top button, the mode button. I, I don't really remember why they call it the mode button. Uh, if you press that and hold it, you get uh, strobe. Love strobe, don't you just love strobe? Actually, I hate strobe. Press it one more time, you get SOS. Press it again, goes back to strobe. You get tired of it, just press the power button again and it'll go back to whatever it's, you turned it off at last. It, 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 it has a, a memory function, whatever power level you turned it off at last. Anytime you go back, that's where it's gonna be. Um, Pressing and holding something for X amount of time. Let's see, I can hold that all day long. The power button, it doesn't throw it straight to the turbo. That's the one thing I don't like. I can't find a direct route to turbo or a direct route to load. You just got to save that where it's at. Um, I don't mind stepping up though, it's not a big deal. Um, the only press and hold that does anything is, like I said, that right there and. Um, I, that just drives me insane. Oh, I didn't know. Um, I'm curious about something. If I remember right, you still do the same thing. You, you can be on and press and hold it. Uh, no, I, I think I just put it in lockout mode. Actually, I don't know what that is. I don't recall it saying anything about that. Okay, I actually got stupid there for a minute. That I did accidentally activate the uh, lockout function, which is really simple. You just press and hold both buttons at the same time. And when you see it flash like, and that's what it did, it's it's locked out now if you try to turn it on or do anything to it it will flash and let you know it's in lockout mode it won't i mean that's all it'll do it doesn't matter what button you push that's all it'll do and you press and hold both buttons again light will come on everything's back to wonderful land now I am going to top the charge off in this, stop this video, and if the rain has subsided, I'm going to let you see just how stout 3000 looms is outside, along with the, a little night core we're going to have some fun with too, the 2017 model. So just hang in there.